Hey, have anyone ever told you that starting a business is the right thing to do and you should start a business because you're young and everything and uh, if you want to be rich, you must start a business. If you want to live your dream life, you must, start a, your, your, you must start a business. Have you ever felt this or have somebody ever told this to you before? Have you? Have you ever heard this before? Okay. Hey, hey, have someone ever told you that Hey, you need to start a business or if you don't start a business, you're not good enough, you're not smart or, or if you don't start a business, you're never going to be rich, you never live your dream life, you never amount to anything much. Have anybody ever told you this before? Right? I think our society is right now quite perverse because we have this perverse culture of Oh, everybody have to look good, okay? You have to start a business, make a lot of money while you're young and then uh, sip coconut by the beach and everything, have a financially free lifestyle. Okay, and that's why you have to start business. This is a promise that a lot of people give out there, right? Because maybe they want to sell you some internet marketing course or whatever, right? But I tell you, okay, that is a wrong reason and wrong perception about business. You don't have to start a business if you don't like it. If you don't feel like you have something that you're passionate about, there's a problem that you want to solve or you want to do something so hard that you don't get the opportunity to do elsewhere, probably starting a business is not right for you. And you know, if you want to start a business, you must have a certain kind of personality, okay? Can you take with ever-changing dynamics, okay? Are you okay with working long hours? Forget about those uh, things that they say, oh, you start a business, you don't have to work, people work for you. You go and look for all the entrepreneurs out there, tell me which one actually got that lifestyle. Don't have to work at all, one. don't have. Usually, what happens is they work the longest hour, okay? They come to work the earliest and they go back the latest, all right? And what happens is this, if you're an employee, you work nine to five. After five, you go back, you rest and everything. But if you're a business owner, you're an entrepreneur, even when you are back from office, you're still thinking about your business, okay? And things just change, there's nothing guaranteed and stuff. So if you say you wanna go into business just to make money and have more time, you know how that crazy that sounds to entrepreneur, you know? And I think for most people, really, for most people, you are more wired to be an employee rather than a business owner. But if you are, if you are thinking, oh, you really want to start a business, you, you have the passion, go ahead. But if you don't and you felt the pressure, I tell you it's okay. Okay, I'm here to tell you it's okay. Not everyone should start a business. You can, be, you can make a lot of money even as an employee. You know why? Just look at the head of retail of, C, of Apple last year, okay, made $73 million. $73 million, okay? Most um, entrepreneurs cannot even make that amount of money in a year, all right? So even as an employee, you can earn more than an entrepreneur. So it's not necessarily which one you pay, you're going to make more money or whatever, okay? And if you are a CEO of any company, you work your way up, you can make $1 million a year. That's like normal figure, you know? So I'm here to tell you it's okay to be an employee. But you'll be saying, hey, but being an employee just... You know, maybe I don't think I'm that smart or maybe I cannot work my way to be a CEO or whatever. So how can I build a massive amount of asset and maybe have some income even when I'm not working? Because that's what a lot of people preach, right? Own a business, start a business, you have income even if you don't work. All right, then what you can do is, even if you're an employee, all right, you can invest. You can invest. And I tell you, you don't really need a whole lot of money, okay? How much do you actually spend every month, right? Three, four thousand. 5,000 per pax, right? So you might be thinking, hey, if you have passive income, that means if you make four or 5,000 every month without working, you'll be fine. You don't have to work anymore, right? You can retire comfortably and stuff, right? So a lot of people, when we talk about retirement, they think, wow, I have to make like 100 million, 10 million, uh, not 100 million, uh, but maybe 10 million, 5 million and stuff, right? But that's not true, okay? Most people, even if you're an employee, you can be quite comfortable. You can have a comfortable life if you know how to do with it. And the way to do it is, yes, having a business is good for your financial health overall, but you don't necessarily have to start one. What you can do is this, if you are an employee, okay, you can buy stocks, you can buy businesses, you can become an investor. So starting a business is tough, running a business is also tough, but if you're investing in a business, then you really don't work in the business at all. You're actually really the one that benefit from whatever outcome that they make. So even if you're an employee, you can still enjoy the benefit of being a business owner if you become an investor, right? So don't worry that much about whatever pressure people give you or whatever. 
okay, learn up investing and tell them, hey, you know what? I don't really have to start a business, okay? I know how to invest. I see this business is good. This business got potential, I'll invest in them. Pretty simple, right? And if you're looking, if you're new, you don't know how to invest, you're looking for a guide, okay, on how to invest, you can go to the link above and register for our upcoming training, okay? Whereby I show you how do I analyze a company, a business, and see whether it got potential to make us money as investor or not, and invest in them. Even if you're totally new, I included a four days investor orientation sequence that will give you a, a guide to the basics of investing, bringing you to understanding how to invest. It's a very short 10 minute video per day that is easy for you to digest. So if this sounds cool to you, go ahead and register above. But just understand this, if you do not feel like starting a business, you don't have that strong feeling of starting a business, you don't really enjoy it, don't do it, okay? You are better off becoming an employee, supporting others, working in team, and you can still have a comfortable life, all right? That's what I feel like saying in this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you stay tuned. Bye-bye.